Cost something no. The cost of opportunities is always good to know. But if you know that, then you're good to go. Yeah. No dreams too big. Chase anything, got the passion to do. Only a dream till it happens to you. Finally seeing money, now I'm acting a fool. What are you doing? Just putting stuff away. All right, what's up everybody? Kevin Van Voris here. So today we have an install video for you. I know how exciting. It's gonna be fucking awesome. This is the Rough Country Dodge Steering Brace for the 09 to 015 Ram. So basically this is for lifted vehicles, which helps with when you lift your truck and it kind of goes one way or the other. This is supposed to make it really tight. Got really good reviews. And it was 125 or $130 shipped. All it is, is this giant piece of metal that's really heavy, this thingy-majiggy, and this thingy-majiggy. Couple melt, couple bolts and nuts. It's supposed to take 45 minutes. Tools needed, 10 millimeter socket, 15 millimeter socket, 17 millimeter socket, 19 millimeter socket, a 33 millimeter. We have to go get that because I don't have that. Uh, inch and three quarter socket, and an eighth Allen wrench, and some Loctite. So, comes with steering brace, pitman arm nut, bearing block, and some other stuff. So, we're gonna see if this makes a big difference. Has four photos. What soap do you want in the bathroom? Great soap. So, we're gonna go get a 33 millimeter socket. started so the reason uh, the reason I bought this was because last time I towed a trailer um, he was texting and driving and all over the fucking yeah place. so I was texting snapchatting DMing YouTube insta live. messaging YouTube living I was YouTube living no um, so it's just when, when we had that much weight in the back of the trailer it would kind of wobble and go one way so this is supposed to make a huge difference. We're gonna see. How, what do you think about rough country stuff? I'm not gonna comment. David doesn't like rough country stuff. Being a jeeper, nobody uses rough country. That's not true. Who uses it? I'm not gonna comment, but people use it. Nobody who actually is knows what they're doing uses you it. You get what you pay for. You get what you pay for. So I knew this going into it, but it's just a big piece of metal, and it got really good reviews. So. Rough country stuff is yeah, usually cheaper, but like you're flexing in Jeep. yeah, we're not flexing in Jeep, we're not off-roading. If I was off-roading, I would buy not rough country. So we're going to see if they have a 33 millimeter socket. All right, so we got all the stuff laid out. And we've got our tools. And I had to go get Loctite because I forgot Loctite. So got some Loctite. I'm going to start breaking this down. All right, so this is already beginning to be a pain in the ass. The paper says a 33 millimeter. I watched a video that said 43 millimeter. I actually have to use a crescent wrench because it's neither of those. So I don't even know what to tell you guys. Get a crescent wrench and we're gonna try and pull off this Pittman arm bolt. Hey Dave. Wait until last minute. All right, so got the bolts off. I know it's gonna be hard to see. But, so use the OEM washer that comes with it and then put this on. I tightened it with my crescent wrench. So don't buy a bolt, get a crescent wrench. David! Do you need an extension? David! <laughs> I'm right here, shut up. I don't know if I need an extension. Uh, on that side. No, I don't need an extension. All right, so next we're removing the sway bar bolts while David watches uh, some weird Asian stuff. Okay, there's two of these, one. Two, we're gonna remove those. Bracket. Guys, there's nothing better than working on your car with your brother on a Sunday. <laughs> That's why I don't pay people to work on my shit. They're yeah. loose, right? Well, yeah, you have slap dicks and install your shit. God damn it! Are we taking this off? It's gonna lower it and then it goes underneath it. So you don't take the bolts out? It says gently. Lower it. Install steering brace with supplied 17 millimeter hardware and hand tighten. Um, 
All right, so Jeez. Dave, Master Please. Mechanic, you have to fucking. We did. Where's the one? We had to hit the. David had to hit the shit out of this thing to go on. So shout out to fucking. Uh, shout out to Rough Country. <laughs> Rough for Country making fucking awful products as usual. Wow. I'm just saying, like, Jesus Christ, could you, like, give me the right fucking size? Dave, thoughts? I don't buy their stuff, so... BDS, if you made one, I would have bought it, but they were the only ones that made one that I found. So, uh, we do have to grease this up with a grease gun before we leave, so I'll probably just have Branson bring a grease gun to the gym or something, so... Uh, Dave's gonna tighten these nuts. Make sure you put Loctite. Yeah, make sure you guys put Loctite, because God knows what this fucking thing <laughs> So, we're gonna put these on, and then, uh, we'll take it for a test drive. So, all we gotta do is just tighten down all these bolts, since, uh, they were loose as fuck already. Alright, so truck's on. Lights are on. Jet engine is started. <laughs> so what uh, we just installed it. It took us probably 20 minutes. It honestly took me more time going to the store and back three times because of the uh, size of the nut fiasco. So if you do this, use a crescent wrench. So we're gonna drive this around right now. Shouldn't take too long to, to notice it. Uh, I should notice it pretty quick. If it did anything, Dave did most of the work. I did a little bit. And that's that's how it goes. So Dave's Mr. Mechanic, I'm mechanic assistant, or assistant to the mechanic. If you know that reference, let me know. So we're gonna drive it around, and uh, we'll get David's thoughts. If you guys want to Snapchat David, don't. He's single, unless, ready unless to mingle. What? Unless you're hot. Unless you're hot. Unless you're hot. If you guys are single, Snapchat Dave. He loves getting Snapchats. I doubt any girls watch your video. That's true. Well, maybe there's some dudes out there. All right, so we're gonna see if this makes any difference. So, I don't know. We're gonna take it up to probably 60, and we'll do a little bit of turning, but uh, I'm, ho I'm hoping it makes a difference. I hope we don't turn in 60. Yeah, otherwise you'll fall off your Grom again. All right, so going around the corner, you could tell it is tighter. Um, this is gonna be the big test. So this light should turn green. Because uh, the roads in Amarillo are shitty, which is great when you're trying to fix steering issues. So we'll see. I think this might actually work. Dave, thoughts on Rough Country's design though? It's uh, basic as fuck. <laughs> so David had to beat the shit out of it. Oh, that's just their quality sense. Yeah, but that's what you get. I mean, it was 140 bucks shipped, and that shit weighed a lot. So we'll see. Is that James? No. No. James. No, it's not James though. All right, so this is where we'll see if it makes a big difference. Hmm, I think so. SVT Austin. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I think this actually worked. I'm going to have to say it worked. So cool. All right. So go get you one. Uh, just type in on Google Dodge Ram uh, steering brace it'll come up should be about 140 bucks um, so we'll see but this uh it seemed to work pretty well actually it's uh it's definitely tighter but it's a big giant piece of fucking metal so, 
I give it a thumbs up. Dave? He's not driven it yet. So, Dave gives it a thumbs down as far as install. Don't lift your truck, you wouldn't have these problems in the first place. That's true. So, but actually, yeah, the, it does feel tighter, definitely turning. So, I recommend it. Leave your truck stock, kids. Yeah, don't buy a Dodge. That's It'll break down. Probably <laughs> true, too. I'll actually, send you by location. Yeah, don't buy a Ford, don't buy a Chevy. You know, I don't even, just don't buy anything. Buy a Grom. Yeah, you know what you should buy? is a Nissan truck. There you go. So, I recommend it. It's a lot tighter. Um, I'm going to go get the truck aligned just to make sure everything's good before we go on this 15-hour trip to Vegas, though. So, thank you guys for watching today's video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it, whether you needed it for your truck or not. Uh, I definitely recommend it. It's a cheap part that does fix your steering. Uh, it's not going to make a drastic difference, but I think it's going to make a big difference uh, when we tow for sure because that was the biggest issue. But uh, install wise, it took us like 20 25 minutes. Use a crescent wrench, and then you're going to need a hammer because you're going to have to beat the shit out of the bearing to get it over the little uh, pitman arm thing. So make sure you guys follow my brother at vanv39, and he does have a YouTube channel. David Van Voris is always linked in the bio. Make sure you guys check him out. And then uh, make sure you guys follow me at Kelly Boy Kev. My name is Kevin Van Voris. We're going to go to Kane's. I'll see you guys later. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nobody knows. Branson, Cobalt owner, has a YouTube channel. Make sure you go follow him. Oh, yeah. Just Branson Brown. Yeah, Branson Brown. Just have Branson Brown. If you want to see his CTS lose all the time, go check out his YouTube channel. <laughs> Branson Brown. Branson Brown. So, I'll talk to you guys later. I'm out.